how do you save a web page as a PDF format? So in this video, I'm going to actually show you the quick steps in which you can do this. And the benefit of this is, you know, you can go ahead and watch these or, you know, you can browse through these in your offline mode. So if you are not having internet at a certain place or places, you know, you can go ahead and still, you know, browse through those web pages. Now, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, share these videos with all your friends and families and also please consider liking this video in case you think that I am adding value to you. So without much ado, let's jump into it. This is Sonit from TechItWickle. So of course, internet is there in all places across the earth, right? But again, there might be places where you know there aren't internet connections or there are low internet connections for example you know if you're going to any beach or some some places where you know there isn't any wi-fi connection or internet then this particular tip that i'm going to show you might help you also comment below and let me know which other places do you think other than the beaches where there isn't any internet connection so you have come across a web page which is very interesting and you think that you do not have time now but definitely you are you know going on that trip and you can actually go ahead and you know check that during that leisure time so how would you do that you have to save it in some format like a doc or a pdf so that you can actually go ahead and view that so you can definitely go ahead and save it as a pdf Making the PDF file is possible across most of the web browsers like Google Chrome, Safari and also the Microsoft Edge. So how do you save a web page in PDF format in Google Chrome? So on the web page that comes up, press Ctrl P and then there would be a pop-up that actually comes up. Now on that page, you would find that there is an option of destination which actually shows in a drop down format which shows microsoft print to pdf so microsoft actually gives you the you know default option of printing to pdf so you can definitely go ahead and choose this option and uh, if you want all of the pages then you have to select all or if you want some you know custom pages then you can go ahead and select custom there and then add the pages that you actually want to have those in the pdf so for example you want from 5 to 10 and then uh, you have to select the layout so if it is portrait or landscape select accordingly and then if you do a print then what happens is that file actually gets saved as a pdf format onto your desktop and after that you can go ahead and use this file for your offline reading now in case you like this video please share this video with all your friends and families who might be you know interested in knowing this information now also there are two videos that are popping up right now on your screen please make sure that you watch them till the end till the next time bye bye